Good morning. Well, I slept well last night. It, it was cold, but the heater worked fine, and I was nice and comfortable. Um, and uh, when the sun started to come up this morning, I could I could hear a truck noise here, and I thought it was one of the uh, snow plows that was just, you know, warming up. It was a diesel truck, and, you know, we got this big, huge parking lot here, and as I get up out of my car, I realize well, there's a truck right behind me. <laughs> they came in and park, parked and was running his motor this morning for about an hour. And, you know, people are funny. You've got this whole parking lot, this monster whole parking lot. And the guy could have parked anywhere and let his diesel run. Instead, he chooses to park right behind mine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've seen that happen before where I've been out on a beach or somewhere... Uh, you know, that's, there's no people around and somebody will come up and they'll plop right next to you. <laughs> and they got the whole, uh, the whole area. So anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to get my breakfast and head on up to the park. It's a little cloudier today though. Well, I decided to come right up to Crater Lake to make my breakfast since I, I didn't really want to make it in the parking lot with a truck right by me. So I'm up here, I've got, a, I got my, uh, my coffee and uh, my oatmeal's almost done. It's a, it's a uh, blustery day here. Uh, it's, it's snowing and cold and you can see the old, the historic Crater Lake Lodge. It's very well known. It's uh, got you know, restaurants and, uh, and rooms and it's only open in the summer so it's all boarded up right now. It uh, looks like, uh, something from the movie The Shining <laughs> so yeah anyhow uh, I'm gonna try to get out and ski it's it's definitely cold um, but I'm gonna get the rest of my breakfast right now <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna stay warm today there's no views of Crater Lake so I'm glad I came up yesterday when it was nice and clear today is just a blustery day and, uh, Here's the famous Crater Lake Lodge. I've been up here when there's been people all over the place, you know, getting dinner and staying here. It's uh, really quite nice inside, a rustic old historic lodge and great views of the lake, which you're not going to get today. So we'll see if I can find a trail somewhere in the woods that's uh, less blustery. Crater Lake sits at only about 6,100 feet in elevation, but it receives more than 500 inches of snow per year. This is more snow than any of the neighboring ski areas, including Willamette Pass, Mount Shasta, Mount Ashland, and uh, Bachelor Mountain. It is one of the snowiest places in the continental United States. I decided to drop down from the caldera a little bit lower in elevation and ski along the East Rim Access Road. This is a nice wide path here. I think it was made by uh, someone skiing with a sled. So uh, some people, uh, which sounds interesting, they'll ski all the way around uh, Crater Lake, which is 31 miles. It'll take about four days, 
if you can average about uh, you know eight or nine miles a day I guess or uh, something like that if my math's right uh, and some people will tow a sled behind them which is a bit of a slog as far as I'm concerned but they'll take all their gear with them instead of having it on a backpack because you need a lot of gear if you're camping in the, the winter <laughs> so that's what I think this is from it's a sled uh, path and as you see it works pretty good for me I can ski right down it it's uh, nice and flat not sure how far I'm in. I haven't seen anybody yet at all. Uh, there's an avalanche about 0.4 miles up ahead. Uh, I'd seen it on the map before, so I don't, I'm not going to go any further than that. I'm traveling alone here, skiing alone, and haven't seen anybody at all. And, uh, I don't know how far I'm in. I'll check the distance when I get back to the car, but I'm in a few miles anyhow. So I'm going to go up here a little bit further, get out of the wind, and uh, have my lunch. Okay, I made it to my lunch spot. I don't think I'm going to go any further. This is, well, I might go check it out, but I'm not going to go too much further because uh, this is where the avalanche starts. And, um, you know, I can definitely see it. If I turn this around, I'm not sure if it shows up, but on the hillside across from me is a small avalanche uh, slide area. I can hear some snow coming down from it too. Um, so I've got my lunch, my sits pad to sit down on. I carry that wherever I go. It's great. Keeps my butt out of the snow. And then uh, after lunch, I'll, I'll ski a little bit further around the corner there and see if I can get a view of where the avalanche area is. And then that's as far as I'm going to go. So uh, let me get some food in me and get some energy going. I made it back down to the bushwhacker it was a great day a great two-day trip i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please uh press a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like and i'll see you on my next senior moment